Hi, I'm Mark Silver, one of your hosts at the Business Oasis, and this segment of the Business Oasis tour shows you how to jump into a discussion on the forum. So you're coming into By the Tent, our main discussion forum, and you see a topic that looks interesting to you. So let's go ahead. You go to the tent, and then we go to By the Tent, which is our main discussion forum. And how about this one, my new www, which in heart of business lingo means who, who, what, or how you define your niche or business focus. So you click on the topic to read it. And there it is. You read through it. Jane's first post, Evan's response, Jane's response, my response, Alyssa, you're reading through. People really helping her with her marketing message. And you get to the bottom and you end up inspired, interested, challenged, befuddled, whatever. The discussion engages you and you want to respond. Easy. When you get to the end and you see this box titled reply, all you need to do is type into this box. You have the text formatting buttons right here, so you can bold or italicize or underline. You can add a link to text. You can add an image. You can uh, have lists, meaning an unordered list, which is a bullet point list, basically, or an ordered list, which is a numbered list. And you have the smileys as well, so you can add some emotional expressiveness to your post. Hopefully, we've got some fun ones in here, so uh, you can add some pizzazz in that way. At this point, I think it's worth mentioning some of the guidelines we have to, for discussions. The first one is assume good intentions, meaning if someone posts something, maybe even a response to something you've written previously, assume they wrote it meaning to be helpful and friendly. Written language can be so easy to misinterpret, and if we're upset, charged, or tender about an issue, we may think someone is intending to insult or otherwise harm us when it's not true at all. They're just meaning to be friendly and help. So in the Oasis, anything you read, assume that we're all open-hearted people here and that someone is actually having the intention to help. The second one is bring good intentions, meaning when you respond to someone, and this is kind of the opposite side of the coin from what I was just talking about, think not only about the details of what you want to help to offer, because when you see someone and you want to offer advice, it's really easy to just jump into the fix-it mentality. Think also about the emotional content. Someone's maybe just posted their first attempt at a marketing message for their new business or something else that they're feeling really tender about. Take a moment to congratulate and celebrate them on the effort they made before giving them the feedback. These topics we're discussing, although they're quote-unquote business, they can be surprisingly tender. So I just ask that we remember tenderness, compassion, and mercy when dealing with each other. By all means, be yourself. Be brash or fun or zippy or anything else that you're feeling. We don't all have to be soft and open-hearted. We can be ourselves and at the same time just remember compassion and that sometimes the people around us are feeling tender. Okay, once you've typed your reply, you want to go ahead and click send post. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. First, remember to check the subscribe to topic via email right here. This way you'll know when someone else responds. The tent can be quite an active place with many people responding back and forth in the same day. You want to know when someone is added to the conversation. Okay, once you've checked that, you can click send post and your comment will appear right here at the bottom, right under Judy's or whoever was the one who commented right prior to you. That's how you jump into a current conversation. Come on in. The water's fine.